my goodness, what is that awful smell coming from this fridge? It smells like rotten meat, almost like a dead rat or lizard. Where is it coming from? What's causing it? And how do we get rid of it? You might have experienced this too, where a foul odor is coming from the vicinity of your fridge and nowhere else in the house. And there's no dead pests or insects lying around. You even inspect the contents of your fridge, putting your head inside and sniffing every section and every item. But nothing even comes close to the foul odor that's making you gag. Now, some people would even set the fridge to defrost, take every item out and scrub clean the interior surfaces and walls with soap and water. Actually, this is and should be part of regular maintenance. But after everything has been said and done, that nauseating smell is still there. Why? Sometimes, the last resort is to place charcoal or some type of odor absorber or eliminator inside or outside the fridge. And this is when it gets really dangerous. Let me explain. Hey there, this is Handyman007, and if we're just meeting for the first time, hello! And my passion is building, fixing, and improving all sorts of stuff at home for my family, and sharing with you what I have learned from experience and from others. Whenever we feel pain, it's our body's way of calling our attention that there's something wrong somewhere. For example, a cut on our finger. The tingling pain is the symptom, and the cut itself is the cause of that symptom. Our body is telling us that if we don't attend to the cut soon, it might get infected and become worse. Thus, proper first aid is needed. So for me, I would most likely clean the wound with disinfectant like alcohol or betadine, then wrap band-aid around it. If the cut is really serious, it would not be a bad idea to consult the doctor who then may prescribe the appropriate medication. So bringing this analogy to our fridge scenario, the foul odor that we smell is the symptom and using odor absorbers or eliminators is only masking the symptom and not really getting rid of what's causing it. It's the same principle as popping painkillers to suppress pain instead of taking the right steps to address the root cause of the pain. In this case, allowing the cause of the odor to remain present is dangerous to you and your family's health. Remember, bad odor is caused by harmful bacteria. The fact that we smell it is our body alerting us that there's danger around. Letting bacteria thrive in and around a place where you store your food and water will eventually contaminate the very stuff that your family consumes. Sooner or later, this will make everyone sick. Worried about viruses like corona spreading across the world? Let's worry about the safety of our homes first, starting with what's causing the foul odor from our fridge. Like most people, we may not have a clue that there is a secret compartment in the fridge collecting dirt. It's called a drip pan, usually a plastic tray that collects condensation from the defrost drain, leading to a buildup of water, dirty water. Now, drip pans are located in different spots on different fridges, but they're always at the bottom because like everything on the planet, water is pulled down by gravity. Ready to see the inside of this drip pan? But first, let me show you another location a drip pan can be at the back of the fridge. So if you can't see one in front, turn the fridge around and check the back. Since we have opened up the space here, it's a good opportunity to sweep the floor and wipe the top of the fridge. Now that we have a clean space, we can focus better on what we're dealing with. So this drip pan is mounted by two screws. 
I think it's designed this way to make it inaccessible by kids or pets, and you'll understand why after you see what's inside. To take it out, we'll remove the mounting screws. As you are removing the screws, support the pan with one hand. The last thing you want is for the pan to fall off and the contents to spill out. Ugh, you don't want to smell what I'm smelling right now. Going back to this first fridge, let's inspect the pan. Yuck! If you think this is horrible, wait till you see the other one. <laughs> Imagine how much harmful bacteria, molds, mosquito eggs, and other toxic particles are in this juice from hell. And the odor, <laughs> it's almost indescribable. It smells like rotten everything. The good news is, we have finally found the root cause of the foul odor. And what we know, we can solve. For this drip pan, let's rinse out the solid particles with running water. Then, with antibacterial dishwashing liquid and a sponge, scrub it thoroughly until everything is white again. DIY question of the day. When was the last time you checked your drip pan and what did you discover? Comment down below, I'm curious to know. And we're done cleaning this. Looks clean, smells clean. After fully drying, let's slide this back in. Good. Now with this drip pan, we're going to take a few extra steps later. But first, let's dispose of this juice from hell. Using the same antibacterial dishwashing liquid, let's scrub this thoroughly. especially the surfaces and walls inside. Also, I highly recommend to wash it twice. Now it may already look and smell clean, but I'm gonna take no chances. What I like to do is use alcohol and wipes to really make sure that whatever germs it might still hold are dead and stay dead. And let's not scrimp on alcohol, okay? So now, it doesn't only smell clean, but also smells disinfected. But wait! There's more. Good, good, good. 
after confirming that I didn't miss a spot, we sterilize it further under the most powerful ultraviolet light, sunlight. Let's attach it back on the fridge via the mounting screws. Making sure that they're snugged in place. I can tell you right now that there's zero trace of the foul odor here. So I think we did a pretty good job. From start to finish, it took me about 30 minutes to clean both drip trays. You might ask, is it worth the time and effort? Well, for the safety and health of your family, does the question even need to be asked?